I don't care what happens. I'm here to bring the truth at whatever cost that comes with it. You made huge headlines when you said after you complete these 15 episodes of Empire, you got to walk away for a while or forever? For good. What I was being paid, it's very interesting. Um, the very, it began, I was think I was being paid 125 an episode. In the early part of the 2000s, Terrence Howard was on the cusp of major stardom. He'd been around since the mid-90s, stealing scenes in movies like Dead Presidents, Mr. Holland's Opus, and The Best Man, which, by the way, spawned a legit franchise. But it was his role in Paul Haggis's Oscar winner crash that led to many saying he would be the next great actor of his generation. His role in the Sundance breakout Hustle and Flow was a sensation that nabbed him a well-deserved Oscar nomination, and he followed it up with excellent character work in Four Brothers, the brave one, get rich or die trying and more. But his role as James Rhodes in Iron Man promised big things to come. You don't respect yourself, so I know you don't respect me. I yeah, respect I'm just you. your babysitter. Suddenly, things turned, and Mr. Howard was nowhere to be seen. Feeling belittled, the actor has turned to exposing the Hollywood elites he accuses of ruining his career, a move veteran actor Denzel Washington feels is a dangerous path to follow. Following Sean Diddy Combs' recent run-in with the authorities, it appears that those in charge of Hollywood are coming after black actors, and Terrence is reportedly one of them. Towards the end of this past year, Howard revealed that he was suing Hollywood agency CAA for an alleged conflict of interest over his salary on the hit show Empire. I know that in coming and speaking out against CAA and all of the relationships that CAA has, that this might be a death blow. The actor filed a lawsuit at the Los Angeles Superior Court on the 8th of December, alleging that his agents prioritized their own interests and the show's producers in their dealings with Fox. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the actor claims they induced him to accept a below-market salary during his six-season stint on the series. I trusted CAA to look after me, and they looked after themselves, said Howard. Howard's lawyer, James Bryant, said that the issue stems from packaging fees, where agents are paid directly by a studio for successfully attaching actors or a director to a writer's pitch. Over the last several years, agencies have become much more powerful and found a much more lucrative way of making money, said Bryant. It's by being the packaging agent, where you represent actors, producers, production companies, and your own financial interest. That's where that fiduciary duty begins to break down. That's why we're here today. Along with Howard, CAA also represented Empire's co-creators, Lee Daniels and Danny Strong, as well as the production company, Imagine Entertainment. Howard revealed that he was paid $325,000 per episode at the height of what I was being paid in the show's sixth season, which aired in 2020. Bryant argued that Howard should have been paid at a higher level for playing Lucius Lyon in Empire, in line with the fees received by Kevin Spacey in House of Cards or John Hamm in Mad Men. In 2014, it was reported that Spacey was paid $500,000 per episode for his role in the Netflix political drama. Howard's lawsuit also claims that there was a racial component to the agency's alleged failure to negotiate in the best interest of Howard. Discovery will show that this was racism, said Carlos Moore, another of Howard's lawyers. You won't find in Discovery that a white actor, Oscar-nominated, Golden Globe-nominated, was treated like that. This was not the first time that Howard has filed a lawsuit over his compensation for Empire, which was a major hit for Fox during its run from 2015 to 2020. The actor sued 20th Century Studios in 2020 over alleged unpaid royalty fees for the use of his name and likeness on merchandise. He claimed the Empire logo was based on an image of his face taken from his 2015 film Hustle and Flow. Like they say, Hollywood gives and takes away. In 2005, Terrence Howard scored an Oscar nomination for Hustle and Flow, then parlayed that exposure into a major role in Iron Man, playing War Machine. He was actually paid more than Robert Downey Jr. for that one, but who's counting? Then he hit the skids. He and Marvel got into a contract dispute, and Don Cheadle replaced him in the sequel. His Urban Country album, Yeah, That's a Real Thing, also failed to ignite, and Googling Terrence Howard turned up more on his very litigious divorce than his work. But the thing is, we never gave up on this guy, and how could we? He's a rare talent whose alien green eyes can cut an enemy clean, but the gatekeepers don't buy that. Oh, and did we mention the dude became a grandfather at age 43? Howard really needed to ground himself for the future of his family. But is it really true, like Howard and Denzel say, that black actors are treated differently from their white peers? Seemingly so. 
Former Glee star Amber Riley remembers the time early in her career when a producer told her that she and other actors of color were a little more disposable because that's the way the world is. As her professional trajectory continued, she witnessed her fair share of bad behavior and knew who would or would not be held accountable. Being told that the white girls are not fireable is being told that you're disposable, she told Variety magazine. Riley internalized that message to the point that she was distraught, going into auditions in her post-Glee career, dealing with anxiety and a loss of confidence. I just felt like there's a million black actors that want this. What is special about me? That's what it feels like when nobody cares, said Riley. They don't care that you're being abused on set, whether that's verbally or otherwise, they don't care. Howard, on his part, hasn't done enough to stay out of trouble. The actor married multiple times and all his wives have complained of domestic violence. However, Terrence has the other side, which unfortunately makes him lose control of himself and get into fights, according to reports. The Empire star married his childhood sweetheart Lori McComas in 1989 and got a divorce in 2003. He married her again in 2005, but had a divorce in 2007. Howard then married Michelle Ghent in 2010 and, within a year, divorced her in 2011. His third wife was Miranda Pack, whom he married in 2013, separated in 2014, and got their divorce in 2015. The screen star never married again. The actor has also been to jail for assaulting a flight attendant when she asked him to go to his seat. Howard also got into a fight with a couple while waiting in a queue for dinner at a restaurant. The actor also had attacked Tex Allen, the composer, during a rehearsal for Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. So with these kinds of controversies, the Hollywood gatekeepers find it easy to frustrate Howard. Actor, rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer Terrence Deshan Howard is best known for his role as Lucius Lyons, a music mogul in the TV series Empire, for which he won the BET Best Actor Award in 2015. While he began his career appearing on several TV shows such as Living Single and Family Matters, he made his major film debut in 1995 with Dead Presidents and Mr. Holland's Opus. In 2005, at the 78th Academy Awards, he won an Oscar for Best Original Song for It's Hard Out Here for a Pimp from the movie Hustle and Flow. Howard was born on March 11, 1969 in Chicago, Illinois. Both his parents, Tyrone Howard and Anita Hawkins Williams, were biracial. His great-grandmother was actress Minnie Gentry. His father, an insurance salesman, was physically abusive. After his father served time in prison for stabbing a man, his parents divorced. Terrence was sent to live with his great-grandmother, Minnie Gentry, in Cleveland, Ohio. Because of his mixed heritage, his green eyes and light skin, his teenage years growing up in a Cleveland project were traumatic. Howard began his acting career in 1992 as Jackie Jackson in the ABC miniseries The Jacksons, An American Dream. He appeared in several TV shows and had the lead role in Sparks in 1996. His first major film role came in 1995 when he played Cowboy in the Hughes Brothers film Dead Presidents. That same year, he appeared as Louis Rusts in Mr. Holland's Opus, starring Richard Dreyfuss and Paul Haggis's film Crash. In 2008, he played Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes in Iron Man. However, as mentioned earlier, he was replaced by Don Cheadle in the sequel. Howard made his Broadway debut in 2008, playing Brick in an all-African-American production of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof directed by Debbie Allen. He earned the NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Supporting Actor in 1999 and the Independent Spirit Award in 2004 for Crash. As a self-taught musician on piano and guitar and a songwriter, Howard co-wrote all the songs on his 2008 debut album Shine Through It. He also developed a reputation for causing unneeded drama on movie and TV sets, and his violent temper has resulted in arrests for domestic violence and an arrest for disorderly conduct. Recently, the actor announced his retirement from acting, stating that he won't pursue any more on-camera roles. In an interview, he said, I'm done with acting. I'm done pretending. But despite announcing his early retirement after being blackballed by Hollywood elites, rapper-turned-film producer 50 Cent believes Howard still has what it takes to become a bona fide Hollywood legend. Fifth vowed to get Howard paid millions after seeing his low pay. In February of this year, the business mogul took to X, formerly Twitter, with a clip of Howard. The Reg News Channel 3 interview showed the acclaimed entertainer talking about how much he was paid for his Oscar-winning role. He tells the journalist that he was allegedly paid $12,000 for his role and hasn't received any royalties for his contributions to the film's soundtrack. What Paramount did, instead of putting my name as Terrence Howard performing the songs, they put performed by Jay. Well, they own Jay. 
he told the news outlet. So now I've got to sue Paramount or send them a letter to say, hey, you guys owe me about 20 years worth of residuals and performance royalties. Fiff responded to the video with disgust. He then swore to get Howard paid more if he worked with him. 50 then brought Taraji P. Henson into the matter and told her to holla at her friend Mary J. Blige, who could verify that working with him is lucrative. It hurts my stomach to hear it Terrence Howard say this, FM, the hip-hop icon said, I need the best actors and I'm going to pay them. Taraji P. Henson, you cool with Mary J. Blige? Ask her, she got a big F-I-N-G bag. My young boys at Michael Rainey Jr., at Makai Curtis, and at Lil Meech BMF are all making millions. Howard's co-star in Empire, Taraji P. Henson, also recently decried the inequality black actors face in Hollywood. During a Sirius XM interview with Gail King, the Color Purple star was asked if rumors of her thinking about quitting acting were true. Taraji paused and blinked away tears before answering. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, she said, dabbing her eyes. I'm tired of hearing my sisters say the same thing over and over. You get tired. I hear people go, you work a lot. Well, I have to. The math ain't mathing. When you start working a lot, you have a team. Big bills come with what we do. We don't do this alone. It's a whole entire team behind us. They have to get paid, the actress lamented. During the interview to promote the film, Taraji sat with co-star Danielle Brooks and the film's director, Blitz Bazawule. She explained that even if an actor is paid $10 million, the hefty number is quickly diminished. Know that off the top, Uncle Sam is getting 50%. Now you have $5 million. Your team is getting 30% of what you gross, not after what Uncle Sam took. Now do the math. I'm only human. It seems every time I do something and break another glass ceiling, when it's time to renegotiate, I'm at the bottom again like I never did what I just did. And I'm tired. I'm tired. It wears on you. What does that mean? What is that telling me? If I can't fight for them coming up behind me, then what the heck am I doing? The emotional Taraji was comforted by Brooks as she continued to express her frustration that despite success in films such as Hidden Figures and a scene commanding run in Fox TV's Empire, she's still told that black actors and stories don't translate overseas. So, will Taraji join Howard in exposing the Hollywood elites? Only time will tell. And that's it from us today until next time. Thank you for watching.